Hello, YouTubers and all those who happen to watch. Felt like doing a vlog because I feel like it. Now, for close to since 06 on YouTube and a little bit before that because of my other account, I've been on YouTube for about close to four years. Now, I for one do not care about ratings. Now this is just a disclaimer, so before you guys go looking at me with think with critique in your eyes and content in your eyes to pull out the the big beast out of me, this quote unquote deviant soul to the people of YouTube. Let's get this quite clear. I don't care about the internet. Do I care about the people who talk to me? Do I care about the people who are heart to heart with me? People who consist of being there for me? Yes, I am. Matter of fact, you see, those people aren't internet. Those are real people who communicate through various connections through the interwebs. And that's why I'm going to tell those people of the interwebs on this recording device that I'm taking a break. I'm taking a long break. Aside from the podcast I do every uh, every other week, or every week for that matter, I just need a freaking break. And you guys know it. I need a break. Months and months and months and years and years and years. All I do is make videos. Now, people are always grateful for it. People, I'm grateful for their videos. They contribute to the world every day they upload. I'm grateful for everybody who's there for me, but there's a time in a man's life where he has to take a break for himself. And people go, just don't need to tell us, go take the break. Again, if I don't say anything, people will think something's wrong. So, that way I make this video people know what's up. That's why I'm making this video. Aside from the casual package videos I'll put up only, that's about it. You know, again, I don't care about ratings. I don't care about that kind of crap. I don't care how many views I get. I only care if people enjoyed it. You know, this, this point has been brought across for a while now. And people go, well, you're kind of a hypocrite. Because I do remember in a couple of your past videos, you asked people to five-star comment and subscribe to you if they liked your content. Yes, that was true. Now, without any explanation, I presented that cause for people. After a while, people started seeing how I did this. And most of these people who were, you know, having lack of communication with people they just looked at this and said I wonder if I do that people will subscribe to my channel comment leave five stars and actually communicate with me and look at my good fucking content now after a while I only do this every once in a while to basically get people's motivation to put confidence behind themselves and stand up on top of the soapbox and go look fucker subscribe to me if you like it if you don't get the fuck out you know that's what I say about my stuff too and I don't care again if you hate my content I don't care I'm not gonna cry I'm not gonna stop it for every individual that hates it I'm not gonna give a crap whatsoever because I'm not that kind of guy that sits here and starts wars with people or starts bullshit with people I'm the most realist son of a bitch you ever met in your life. In person, if you were to try to start this conflict with me, you know what would happen. 
I wouldn't cause physical violence on you, so they'll think, of, oh, you're threatening me. I'm in threat. I'm threatening the invisible band because there's no indirect contact to this situation, is there? There's no one there. So how can you record a video and yell at someone who's not even fucking there? That records a video back and has a conflict back and goes, well, fuck you too. He's talking to the computer. I mean, if you leave in a direct message like an answering machine, the computer like a video format, good for you. I mean, if you really don't like the guy, why don't you grab a cup of tea? If you don't like tea, grab yourself a fucking awesome beer. While you're at it, grab yourself a, crack, a back of fucking crackers, animal crackers specifically, sit down in the middle of bumfuck Egypt, and goddamn enjoy yourself, because you're the only person you're really entertaining with that aspect. You know, every single fucking time. Now, I'm just going to say this, and this is directed towards nobody, but this is just inspiration for people to reflect on themselves, reflect on who they are to reflect on what they do on the internet and think about it for a while does one person on the internet doing their thing reflect what the fuck you do as a person as you record your video as you make your epic content as you every single fucking day bust your mother fucking ass I'm sorry, I can't say fuck or shit, dick's not pussy shit, because YouTube will look at this and go, hell no. But, aside from that, one of the few things I enjoy from people on YouTube is sharing their lives, sharing their hobbies, like gaming, which is one of my personal favorites, as you can see, by the closet, by the TV that has HD attached to it, by the shelf that has the goddamn box games and various other things made out of plastic and freaking crystallized disc format. And my computer, which has some casual games I like to enjoy and kick back and indulge. But you know what? You can't enjoy your hobby because everyone else has to make you miserable. Now, this is going towards everybody. At least one person in their goddamn life. Treat them like shit. Treat them like dog shit. Either it be in a relationship partner, being some troll, being some sort of fucking person who just wants to go out of their way to goddamn make somebody motherfucking miserable. Again, I don't understand it quite frankly, aside from of course it's emotional distraught or someone just doing it for a laugh or someone just doing it because they feel like it's a goddamn pastime for them. Some people just don't give a shit and rather watch the whole world burn than fucking goddamn watching CNN after for an LOL period and you know what it's the funniest motherfucking shit I ever saw in my goddamn life you know I observe people like a goddamn fine tooth comb I see people's personalities when they express themselves through their art which is of course recording a video visual arts graphic design is what graphics and all that are called art is an art form even the person does a little, does a little picture by picture, little screenshot by screenshot. That's fucking art, as far as I'm concerned. People who bust their ass using Windows Movie Maker every single fucking day for about eight minutes of a fucking review with their sound so goddamn low, a grasshopper goes what? And you know what? Those people deserve fucking ten thousand subscribers, as far as I'm goddamn concerned. I'm not sucking their dick. Because my mouth and tongue don't reach that far. So I'm just going to keep it right here on my own dick. Thank you. But it's... Just <laughs> <laughs> it's one thing or other that... You know what? Sometimes you got to treat yourself good. And that's why... I decided I'm going to take a break. We points, 360 points. Besides the podcast, I made a promise to do that one every week. Because I, you know what, I, I want to be there and help people, so that's what I do. I love to help people. I don't expect things from people. You know what, because I grew up, half the damn time, most of my fucking family don't give a shit about me. 
aside from a few people that I actually care about, you know what, sometimes you, even people you care about have fights with you. Then you wish hateful shit on them because you had an argument about them because of a goddamn carton of milk or a fucking egg or a goddamn piece of bread or something because you couldn't get it right away. All this shit rolls up into this one little blunt that you can smoke at the end of the fucking day. And you'll be stuck on that goddamn hit because you want that hit again. So that's why you start it all over again with your fucking family. Or your friends. Or whoever the fuck, your co-workers, your boss. You know, it's like it is not important by the end of the fucking day how many people you pissed off. How many end, end of the day how many fucking people pissed you off. It does not fucking matter who the fuck you are as a person if you're goddamn treating yourself miserable every fucking day stuck in that one fucking hit of every single fucking day people treating you like shit I don't like being treated like shit nobody does people want to be treated with respect I get that from everybody I talk to if you don't treat me with respect I ignore you you know it's that proper prim proper prim proper person in me you know, I don't hate you. I don't hate anybody. I don't hate anybody. Get that out of your fucking little skull right now. Because while you're still sitting in the bun fuck fucking Egypt, smoking your motherfucking blunt while having your bag of goddamn ginger snap cookies and goddamn uh, animal crackers while drinking your fucking Heineken beer, or whatever freaking homebrew freaking local goddamn beer you like to consume. I'm still sitting here. Enjoying myself. Knowing that my friends, those 20 or 30 people I can communicate with every single day, day in and day out, about treating them like they're garbage. Like I'm not treating them like they're shit. I know every single day in and day out, those people are going to look back, look at the content I make, and that right there is an influence for them to look back and go, that motherfucker likes us. I wouldn't make a single fucking video if I didn't like anybody. I sound angry, but this is quite a contraire. I'm quite fucking passionate about myself and everybody else around me. I don't speak like this unless I'm re you really, really got me in the bottom of my freaking gut where I have to let you have an impression of me. Now, I can understand people are not anything to do with cement. Nobody in their right fucking mind, even the most shallowest person in the world, has a point in their body where they can snap like a twig. And if you can snap that twig, you can destroy them. Because trust me, I know how to break people. People know how to break themselves. People know how to trigger people's emotional cords. Everybody knows how to do it. Does everybody like doing it to each other? Some people do. Other people don't. I personally am grateful for every single one of you guys. That's why you guys can respect it. I can respect it. I can dig it. I'm Captain Cool. I am Captain Orgas fucking Matic. I am the fucking clay dick of the fucking YouTube. I am the fucking live video heavyweight goddamn champion of the world. Because of my fucking passion to give a shit about people. When they don't give a shit about themselves. You can think this is some sort of little material mask for the internet. You can think that all you goddamn want. If you want, I could buy myself a plastic goddamn mask, put a mask on too, and freaking cut my voice down real low. Then after that, I can critique and find out little videos about you and then look back and go, Wait, you said that. You said that. You're a hypocrite. Does it fucking matter? It's a fucking recorded video. People's personalities and usually in their minds change every five fucking minutes. It's like the goddamn seasons. But out of the net, I can see it as this. I, for one, respect people for who they are. Now, I'm not a windshield. I don't remember ever being a windshield to a car ever. So, why you th and when people treat me like crap and throw flies at me at my windshield, I don't have to take those flies. I can just swipe them off. And keep on driving. That's an analogy you can use to critique your pro attic fucking justice if you like. Because I'm just going to keep on going like that. 
I am who I am, you are who you are, people love each other, that's how it should be. Now, you might not like every person in the goddamn world, you might have one friend, two friends, three, four, and four, five friends, you might have a fucking friend, bum fuck friend every, every other goddamn day, you might have a girlfriend, you might lick her pussy, then after that you go home to your other girlfriend, and of course you have a wife at home, of course, but then you critique her with that and go, oh bitch, I fucked you, but I only had kids with you because I felt pity for you. You know, people like that make me goddamn sick, but do I give a shit? No. What they do every goddamn day and come on the internet and go, let me put a smile on your face. You know, it's just really, really, really repetitive. You know, people usually see the funny side of me. Not have yet, have they seen a passionate side of me they, they'd be freaking scared of, but yet, see, that guy has balls. You see, there's two parts of me. There's a Narcot Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. However, though, the, Je the, ha the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde situation scenario here is not played up, I'm going to be an evil, twisted little bastard to you. No, 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 no. I'm not like that. I don't treat people like shit when they piss me off. I might be respite, spiteful a little bit, but I get over it really quickly, so shouldn't you. It would, it would have to be something magical out of the pixie dust you call the freaking anything and you call in your cranium to freaking realize who the hell I am when it comes to my personality. You can't read a person until you sit in their lap. And you sit in plenty Santa Claus's laps to know that that motherfucker is just a guy with a beard. Some guy who's getting paid like eight bucks an hour to have little kids piss and shit and vomit on his lap. So that way he can goddamn go home and drink his fucking weight life away. Or he can be the most excellent Santa Claus you've ever met in your fucking life. And he doesn't drink. He doesn't do any of that shit. He's actually either Zen, he's actually Buddhist, or he could be a true hardcore Christian who doesn't, quote unquote, pardon the expression, touch boys. Which is... Quite frankly, a bad scenario you place in every single priest out there. You should be ashamed of yourself, whoever says that, because not all priests are bad. There's some good motherfuckers out there, because I remember I was going with my brother to, you know, get his get his balls checked, get his tummy checked, his kidneys rather checked, to make sure those little motherfuckers are going to pass through A-OK. -okay. Big shot, my brother. He's an awesome guy. Check him out. But... You know, I was in there, and I was watching this guy, immigrant gentleman coming through to get some, you know, care done for him, a physician established for him. And guess who was with him? An American priest. Straight up American priest. From the good book himself. The guy who teaches the passages like goddamn, like it's fucking thinking of the word, like it's goddamn Hamlet. Seemed like he was the most passionate motherfucker I ever saw in my life. Nicest guy, just by seeing his expression with people, helping that guy out with his beer gut. He was there to help that guy get himself into America, to get himself some health care. So that way, just in case he breaks his ankle in his sandals, or falls out a fucking window because he's trying to help a little old lady out the goddamn window because her cats are on fire. Not the building, just the cats. Those cats are in heat. And they're going to catch on fire sooner or later. But, you know, that's how you read people by expression it might be a mask but that's a damn good mask fuck me running that's the most amazing goddamn mask I ever saw in my life again you know people love seeing the angry side of people people love seeing that type of stuff you know and I'm, I'm just excited to know that people care about each other that's what makes me excited to be a human being you see people who treat each other good who treat each other passionately who give a fuck about each other? People like that priest from that fucking establishment up in East Bun fucking Boonducky. That is, makes absolutely no sense because I just totally screwed that up. I'm going to keep on going to end this off. Just so you guys can make a little bit of a little parody of me because I know people love doing that. And it will tie you over until I make a package video here and there. I'm going to walk over here and do a fabulous thing so that way you guys can do some chroma key. There you go. Have a good day with that. So now, as I provided that much entertainment for you guys, you guys can laugh at how passionate and stupid I sound right now. So, with that said, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video, got some insight of who I can really be as a person, and how much ethic I have behind myself as a person and a human being. I might not have the charismatic personality of a good, true-hearted person, like a person who's true to themselves, true to their craft, true to their soul. But I'll be fucked if people are going to treat each other like garbage. With that said, I bid you guys a good night. Because this is probably the most longest, irritating, most repetitive, bullshit video you probably ever watched in your life. You probably don't believe a word I just said, just going... I just heard the angry bit, so that way I'm going to critique you and, you know, treat you like you're a dickhead now. Or, you could just do the other route and go, I understand where you're coming from, man. Great video. And, you know, either way, I don't care what you think of me. Just as long as you understand I respect you and you respect me. Because I don't treat how you treat me. I don't care if you treat me like, guard, like goddamn dog shit. Just as long as you put a smile on your face. However, though, if you treat me like shit because of someone else is uh, having a beef with you, that's when I don't talk to you because it's you, the person, that has to come to the resolve, resolution to this. Yeah, has to come to the conclusion of that visualization of a conflict. You're the one that has to talk to the other person and go, look, man, I don't disagree. I disagree with you fully. I don't care what you have to say. I don't care what your ethics are. I don't care who the fuck you are. As far as I'm concerned, man. I don't dis I don't agree with you. That's all you have to say, rather than rip back the guns inside your sling little holster there and start shooting at each other like goddamn cowboys and Indians on acid. People need to treat each other better, not like shit. Because as far as I'm concerned, on the good old American people, or anyone else anywhere else in the world, know this one thing: you treat each other good, you get benefit from it. You treat each other like shit and put controversy and contradiction to each other, guess what? It's going to come back to you tenfold to each other. And that's what's going to happen. You treat each other with paranoia. Being skeptical of people before you even read it, then who are you versus them calling the pot, calling the kettle black? Again, I respect everybody. I respect everybody humbly. Because I am a human being and everyone else is a human being. I came to this conclusion when I was freaking 17 goddamn years old. When that last nail got hit in the coffin with a relationship I had. It made me reflect so fucking deep. It was like fucking Hitchcock and fucking William Shatner and goddamn Shakespeare came out of my dick and said, Dude, really? Really? And I looked at him going, Really? So then all those brilliant people came together, they gave me a sandwich, and I ate that sandwich. Even William Shatner isn't really that wise, he's just a really nice guy in person. But other than that, that's why I have to take a vacation. I gave you my 5x5 five five essay. In my head, I calculated how many pages it would have took to give you guys an essay that you would blow your fucking mind. Your mind would be exploding right now, because you've sat through about close to, how long is this? Good God, about 25, 28 minutes. So, again, hope you guys enjoyed this video once more. Because I'm a passionate person. And I love everybody in the goddamn world. I'm not drunk. If I was drunk, I'd be slurring. I'm just stuttering because I have a speech impediment. Close enough. But, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's going to be a long hiatus for me because I deserve... A break as a person who uploads videos for over four years and not getting anything done but finding a job to either do or die and I quite frankly want to survive so everybody out there who's got a job everyone out there who's having it rough with their job having that price cut in their job who sits here and knows I'm just grateful for this job because you know what? There's other people out there who ain't making the grease backs as me. And you know what, dude? 
if you can come to that conclusion with yourself, Jesus fucking Christ, you are amazing. I want to suck your fucking ethical cock right now. I want to get my freaking ethical knees on the fucking floor and suck some fucking... <laughs> but other than that, I lost my seriousness now because I'm really tired. So, I'm going to kick back when I'm not looking for a freaking job. I'm going to play some video games when I'm not looking for a job. And I'm going to create myself a fucking future. I expect everybody else to have that future too. Because you know what? 100 subscribers is amazing. 200 subscribers is amazing. 300 subscribers is amazing for you people who like that. Because I, quite frankly, don't care how many numbers I have. I don't care. People come and watch my videos because they probably think it's good. I guess. Or they just come in as the wit to keep an eye on me or something like that. Or trying to make sure I'm not committing no evil. Or they're just coming over there to troll me. One of the two. Either way, I don't care. Come join me. Sit down. You can come over to my house. We can play some video games together. I'll make you a grilled cheese sandwich. We'll sit like mother lovers with our pants off, with our tidy whities on, with our wife white t-shirts on we'll sit down together we'll watch some star trek episodes and we'll nerd it up so fucking good that fucking D, &D won't be nothing but a goddamn slang for each other yo what's up my D, D? but other than that hope you guys took me seriously and also took me lighted heartedly and enjoyed what i have to say to you because this right here is really the funny 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 part of the video because I'm going to end it with this.